So, uh, what was it like when the riots happened in St. Paul? Well, everybody was afraid. People was just doing any and everything when they should have. You know, just trying to just just take people things still and uh, vandalize the properties and all that crazy stuff. They needed to find themselves, um, go back to school get, and get, get a high school diploma and be all they can be and have God in their life. God is the first person that's, that we need in our life because we're not doing it by ourselves. Why? He, he's given us what we need then turn around and vandalize it. That's not bringing peace. And they're still doing it. So the ones that, that, that are doing bad should be prosecuted do wrong, bring uh, uh, consequences, bring repercussions, so you need to get God in your life. And who was it that did the rioting? That I don't know. It was all, it was all different races, all different colors. So it's not just one race. Black lives do matter as well as everybody, the rainbows, everybody should be, should be unity, peace and harmony, and joy and happiness. That's what it should be. And you said before that you didn't like the effect it had on the community. Can you elaborate on that? Well, that really is taken away from us, kids. This, they can't go to school, kids. Uh, we can't go to the gas station. We can't go get food for ourselves. So it's making it even harder for us when it should be easier. You know, they're taken away from us. By vandalizing the city, it's not proving anything. It's just making things worse and harder for us. But pray about it. He shall answer on your hands and knees. And that's the way it should be. And there are even some places you can see where it's been entirely reduced to rubble. Yeah. Not just vandalism, it's just, just the burnt. building is it's no longer there. That's, that's, not, that's not a good thing. Some places, don't get me wrong, they didn't get them all. They got some of the places. Not them all. Why? I don't know. So if they didn't get them, you're going to do that, do that. Why not do them all instead of just every other one? It don't make sense. So they should never did them, all, did them in the first place. And even this place, this is a, this is West Africa, uh, East African place. Yeah. By uh, you know African immigrants, and and it's also a daycare for kids, and down there it's a it's a. Uh, you say this this place here is a daycare? Yep, right there in the middle, with, 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 with the stuff on the check out the right check out check out the wall there. It's, it's, it's a message there. Where it says respect. Respect. Yep, that's what it means. Respect everybody's everybody's property. Everybody should be respected. You know. Of, and do you know who runs that daycare? No, I don't. I don't know. I just know because I'd be over here. Well, it seems like a lot of people say, oh, if the if white people own the business, then it's okay to no, riot. No, but a lot, I mean, but a lot of... Color, if any color owns a, rest, I mean, a restaurant or whatever it may be, it's still their, their property. You shouldn't try to take away from them. They're, they're busy. They're trying, they're trying to survive too as well. It don't matter what color. It shouldn't be no racist going on. But it's still here. But on top of that, a lot of the businesses are owned by black people or minorities and such things. Yeah. So the, the logic doesn't even work in that way. No, no it doesn't. When it should, but now since what they they did learn something, they made more people come together in certain areas. Some some people come together, some don't. Well, the ones that's not, it's going it's going to get even harder for them. Every day is harder. It's really hard out here. But they made it for themselves. You know, when you need to go back to school and get something out of it, graduate and go to school and be something, have something, get a job, stay out of trouble. You know, don't do do the wrong thing, do the right thing. What has the attitude of people in the neighborhood generally been to the riots and the aftermath? Well, it's been it's been a little bit better. It's certain people, you know, we we, sit, we stand and talk about things about life, and when they have when they go have gatherings, you know, like um, people speaking, like the churches and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's been kind of a little, a little better in certain areas. Mostly uh, elderly people, people that's over 25, the under that is. There's no help for the, the youth, and, all, and I'm trying to help them, but they, they got to help themselves. So you, you think there's a specific problem with people under 25? Lately, yeah. They've been out, they've been out of order. They've been doing too much. And people that do do certain do, do drugs and can't handle, it, handle what they do, if they don't can't handle it, they shouldn't do it. You know? They make things harder on themselves. I give when I can. I help others. I've saved people's lives too. That's why I'm out here. How did people in the neighborhood feel about the riots themselves after it happened? Did, was there any support for them or was it all opposition? What was the balance? People people came out, they, they people uh, put uh, cat flyers, they, they were they were picketing want people to come out and help support to clean up. Yeah, I helped. Certain 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 different areas. But yeah, some did, some didn't. Well it was it was it was a lot of support, you know. But it, it, I, I'm, a, I'm upset about it, but there ain't nothing I can do about it. I can, I, I've got to forgive them in order for him to forgive you. 
for your sins, so it's, it's left up to him now. I put all my problems in his hands. And how did the police handle it when the riots were happening? Well, they did their job down at downtown. I said they did their job, but they were just, it was just, it was just chaos. That's how you heard. They were going this way, that way, this way, this way. They can't be everywhere at the same time. So they were overpowered. Yeah, there was, there was just too much, too many, too many things going. That's why they called into the, the armed forces came in to help, and they did their job. Thank you, armed forces. Yes, I, I agree with that one. So you were in favor of the military coming and yeah, and putting the stuff back to order. Yeah. Because a lot of, there was there was controversy over whether that was appropriate. It was appropriate. How so? Because they, they stopped it. They slowed it down. That's uh, that wasn't appropriate. What they what the what the youngsters did was inappropriate. They're doing our job. That's why they go to, they go to school and they, they would take they would take our, our United States of America. That's what they're there for to, to protect and serve. And did the people have more respect for the military than the police? Yeah. Why is that you think? I don't know. Okay. All right, what was your name? Vanessa. All right, good to meet you. Nice to meet you.